This is an ultrasound clip demonstrating findings of a small bowel obstruction. A curvilinear probe is used and placed over the abdominal wall. Generally, when performing this examination, the probe can be placed in a transverse orientation and moved in a lawnmower-like organized fashion across the abdominal wall, evaluating for dilated loops of bowel. In this clip, we can appreciate a dilated bowel loop. Notice this structure here, which is seen pushed up against the anterior abdominal wall. This is small bowel. Normally, the small bowel is not well visualized on ultrasound due to it containing air. However, if a small bowel obstruction occurs, it becomes fluid filled and more visible. Several findings in this clip clue us in to this, that this is a small bowel obstruction. First, we can see that the small bowel is dilated. Remember 2.5 centimeters. This is the cutoff of normal bowel size. You should measure perpendicular to the lumen of the small bowel when evaluating from wall to wall. Second, notice that the contents within the small bowel can be seen moving back and forth, so-called to and fro peristalsis. This abnormal movement is also suggestive of an obstruction. Lastly, we can see the keyboard sign. Notice these finger-like projections along the wall of the small bowel. These represent plica circularis. Normally these are not seen, however, when the bowel becomes fluid filled due to obstruction, they become more visible. Here is an additional clip of a small bowel obstruction demonstrating multiple dilated bowel loops and minimal peristalsis movement. A triangle shaped anechoic area can be seen here between the small bowel loops. This is known as the tanga sign. This represents flea fluid between the bowel loops and suggests a high grade bowel obstruction. While ultrasound is highly sensitive and specific for small bowel obstruction, at this time it does not completely replace CT imaging, which can provide further information such as the cause of the bowel obstruction, including a transition point and alternative diagnoses. It can, however, be helpful in the emergency department to initiate early treatment such as NG tube placement and potentially avoid CTs in patients with recurrent bowel obstructions.